Okay, so if I talk to them and they say they don't want you here, then you'll be removed from the property. You understand that? Now, if you do something on official capacity, Man, then you need to do whatever you, you need to do. I'm telling you, don't yeah. climb that mountain with me. I'm telling you, go have a conversation with that guy before you guys make a seriously huge mistake. What do you up to? Videoing, pho photographing? I understand what you're saying, okay. but I'm telling you Thank you're wrong. You. We're talking about operational obstruction. Do you want to be trespassed? That's what I'm asking. I'm not. No, I don't. I'm just going to wait till you guys leave. Why? Because I don't want anybody ever getting the notion that uh, because I'm leaving that you guys forced me off. All right, guys, we are at the Linwood Fire Department number 15, station number 15. Check it out. What's that? How you doing? Good, how are you doing? Good. Cool. Are you part of the group that's around uh, a little later? Group that's around a little later? Yeah, what are you, what are you up to? Videoing, pho photographing. Okay, for what purpose? It's my own. Your own personal purpose? Yeah. Okay. Anything I can help you with? No, no, just checking it out. Okay, cool, thanks. Yeah, no problem. What's up? How you doing? Good. Got some calls about you walking around. So we're wondering what you up to today. Fun? Nothing. Okay. I've seen you looking in the windows, taking photos inside offices. Is there a reason for that? Or you do you work for the city or you just out taking pictures and video. Okay. Well yeah, video outside's cool, but when you're looking in people's private spaces, taking photos in there, that's not okay. That's not true. Yeah. Unless well, you're, you're talking like some well, like just we disagree on morals or something thing, then maybe your morals... Yeah, it's called voyeurism. You can't ah. look into any place that's not oh, no, it's open to the public, okay? This is absolutely open no, to the public. Dude, not an office. Not like that. If you it want to is. go inside the building and talk to a firefighter, you're more than welcome to do that. This is a public building. I can take pictures from public spaces. This is a public space. Okay. You understand that's what I'm saying? That's why you have blinds. I understand what you're saying, okay. but I'm telling you Thank you're wrong. You. Okay. Do you need something from this building? Because they don't want you here. Want one hand... You know, crap in the other, see which one fills up faster. It's not I'm right. asking you that. Do you need something from this building? Yeah, I do. Because they're asking you, then do you need to contact one of the firefighters? Do you That's talk not to what them? I need from the building. Okay, what do you need? I don't need to talk to you about that. Okay. They don't want you here. They're uncomfortable with you being here, okay? Uh, uncomfortables is their problem. Their right. If they don't want you yeah, here, it's their you can't be here. This is mine. <laughs> We're disagreeing here, dude. You yeah, need to understand. Yeah. This is my building. Understood. It's your building. Right. Everyone's in that building's okay. building. So look, they don't want you here to tell me that you don't, don't want to be here. Do you want me to call the fire chief now and ask him, does he want me, you here or not? Let me put this to the top. I'm asking you a question. Do you want to just leave or do you want to just be I'm here? I'm not going to answer your question. Let okay. me put this to the top for you. What do you need? I'm going to have you put a ring on it. What Are you, you going to trespass me or not? I got to ask them. They want you. They call me here to say, hey, what do you want You better get on it, man. Do you want to be trespassed? That's what I'm asking. I'm not. No, I don't. I want to be on my property taking photos and videos. Yeah, you could take photos from a better space than go look at the No, this is where I need to take them from. Okay. Are you working on something? I'm not going to talk to you about what I'm doing, okay? Okay. I'm well, not going to I mean, help you. Are you working you. on something? You're not helping me at all. 
I'm I asking know. you, are you working on I'm something? I'm not going to answer those questions. Because if you're doing something in official capacity, then you're welcome to do what you're doing. But if you're not, then I'm that doing something an issue. in a very official capacity. Okay. So what is it? I'm not going to tell you. Okay. So if I talk to them and they say they don't want you here, then you'll be removed from the property. You understand that? Now, if you're doing something on official Man, capacity, then you I'm can do whatever you, you need to do. I'm telling you, don't yeah. climb that mountain with me. I'm all telling right. you right listen, now. Man, listen, I understand that you want to play games and all that stuff. I don't want to play nice games. To you as possible. I'm telling if you, you from one to man to doing, another, don't fine. climb that mountain with me. Cobra. You got it? I, I didn't hear anything you just said. Man. I said don't climb that mountain with what me. What mountain? All I got to do the is climb, you're not getting me off this property. <laughs> it ain't happening, You dude. want to play that game? I'm not playing a game with you. I'm being I'm dead serious. I'm asking you right now, do you really want to play this game? I'm being dead serious. You want to be trespassed from the fire department. That makes no sense. Because you might need a fire department one day. I'm asking you. Listen to you what I'm what telling you, you. Open your ears. You're not listening to me. That's your problem. I don't need to listen to you. You're a public you're asking, servant. You're asking these questions. A public servant is with the authority to trespass you from a facility. <laughs> yes, you don't understand that. You really want to do that for the city? If they want to do that, we're going to do that. That's what I'm asking you. Well... You make that decision, man. That's totally up to you. No. I'm you gonna go back about my business. Capacity. Am I being detained? No, you're not being detained. See you later. All right. Don't climb that mountain with me. Right. Well, I'll see you later. Hey, I guess I will. <laughs> Actually, I'm just Hey man. We're not talking to you. Right hey, here. too bad. Where you're at. Too bad. Uh, you don't want to go up this. You don't want to go up this I'm mountain with me. I'm asking you what you want to do. I'm here. not talking to you. I'm talking to you. You don't need to talk to anybody. You don't right want now. to do this. All this right. is going to cause a problem for your for your fire department. A very very bad legal problem for your fire department. So are you understand? So if you guys want to, right we're in a private If you want to conspire, it's business. not a private if space. If you want to walk over this there and talk, you can talk. This is public space. Do you want to talk about something different? You said you're here for no. official capacity. I am. It does not seem that way to me. This is a public space. If you want a private conversation, you go inside there. If you want a, here, you will, you there. If you want a private conversation, go in there. All right. What do you guys want to do with them? I'll talk to you inside. Okay. There you go. Great your privacy. Look at that. Jesus Christ. I missed it. What's going on? Your partner's about to make a really, really, really big mistake. You might want to talk to him first. He's putting his pride before his smart decisions. Yeah, okay, so what's the... What's I'm the just deal? here collecting video and photo for something I need to do. Okay. And the fire department's uncomfortable. Okay. Too bad, you know? Can I ask what you're collecting video for? You can ask. Yeah, what are you collecting video for? I'm not going to tell you. Okay. It's my private reason, and that's it. Listen... I'm telling you, go have a conversation with that guy before you guys make a seriously huge mistake. What What do you think we're going to do that's a mistake? You're going to trespass me. Okay. Well, you don't want to do that. I'm telling you. Okay. I am telling you that is a mountain you do not want to climb with I me. You. I got you. What's the issue with trespassing? Well, I've committed no crime, first of all, so I can't be trespassed from property I've committed no crime on when it's public. All I'm doing is on public property that I pay for with my tax dollars is collecting photo and video. Gotcha. I can go down to the police station. I can go on to the recreation center and land do it. I just got done with City Hall collecting photo and video. Okay. Out back, inside, everything else. Okay. You guys are law enforcement, not feelings enforcement. Their policies, their feelings, their frustrations over being filmed or video, I mean, they can have them, they're entitled to them, sure. but they don't get to infringe upon my rights and liberties just because they're uncomfortable. You're it. not the uncomfortable police. So what I would do is actually like to request you get a uh, supervisor down here, a corporal, a sergeant, lieutenant, whoever. Okay. Because that dude's about to make a grandiose yeah, uh, mistake. Uh, he's requesting. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Right back. Yep. Sergeant's coming. Oh, I don't. It's something totally different. Okay. Boy. Is your sergeant on the way? He's on the way. Okay. Were you filming inside the windows? I'm just asking if your sergeant's on the way. No, I'm just asking if you're filming into the windows. Okay. You don't want to answer? Or? No. Okay. 
That's fine. You were doing what you were doing. That's. I've been collecting video and film from okay. public property. Sure. Yeah. You do this all over the place, or? Yeah. Huh. All over the country. Okay. You got a YouTube channel or something like that? Uh, for collecting film and photo? Yeah, some people make YouTube videos out of them. Oh. That's why I'm asking. No. Uh, no? No YouTube channel? No. You don't post your videos anywhere or I can look up or anything like that? No. Just out of my own personal curiosity. No, no, I just go around and I like to make sure that, you know, government facilities are kept clean and up squared away, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Some places you go to, it's a nightmare, and other places you go to, it's nice, and what? it's good to know how uh, tax dollars are being spent. What do you mean by nightmare? Like, what would constitute a nightmare? Uh, Newport, Washington's PUD. PUD? What is that? Public Utilities District. Okay. Their PUD uh, is a nightmare. How so? Holes in their fence. You could, you could just walk right through and get access to the transformers that oh, they use okay. to, you know, so I mean, People talk about the uh, the grid being, you know, the power grid being super um, super important and all that kind of stuff, and then they have holes in the fence and you know leaving gates unlocked and all that kind of stuff. Gotcha. And you know, with puds like uh, with other monop effectively granted monopolies uh, for power stations and whatnot, they. Uh, enjoy that privilege of having a monopoly on it and by monopoly you mean people don't have any other choice but to use their well yeah because i mean if you look at a vista bonneville power right i mean you and i can't just be like hey let's just go and buy four billion dollars of electrical equipment we'll just set up a power company it's 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 a big barrier to enter sure. so you go around and you check out these places and you see if they're you know spending <clears throat> dollars wisely and they're spending private dollars is effectively spending public dollars in a way because they're being granted the ability to have a effective monopoly. So so when you come across something like that, that's a that's a nightmare. What do you do with that information? I take the video footage, I send it to the city, to the county, to the PUD commissioners because uh, public utilities district commissioners are elected officials. So you can go to them and say, hey, here's this... Uh, um, here's this problem you know on your property mm -hmm. if you don't fix it it's going to be a big problem for you blah 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 right so you get them to fix it before it becomes a big problem it doesn't become a big problem uh, so so have you do you know of any change that you've affected by doing this yes i've gone to some different municipalities where they've had like unsecured areas that they wanted secured mm -hmm. And, you know, you're like, like, for example, if they wanted this secured, mm -hmm. you just erect the fence, put no, you know, authorized personnel only, uh, or if you don't want people driving back there, authorized vehicles only, they put it up, boom, now the, now the uh, people know when they come up, don't go back there. Gotcha. That so, makes sense. It does. And, and I mean, it's just, the whole point of all of this is to order society in a way that's beneficial to everyone and limits negative outcomes issues so has anything you've done by filming and 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 being doing what you're doing can you see that being a disruption to the services that the people who work at places like this fire station no because if you're doing things that are completely lawful right. then it shouldn't be a disruption but from their point of view and this is why we got called is they thought you were acting strange right Okay. And they're scared when people act strange around places like fire departments, police stations, city sure. halls, right? Yeah. So it disrupts in a way, strange behavior disrupts what they need to do. Look, on a colloquial level, does it disrupt? I don't know that word. I'm not, a, I'm not that So smart. colloquial just, you know, is a, is a sort of uh, uh, side reference to the notion of disruption. Does it possibly cause disruption? In a in that way perhaps sure but what really matters at the end of the day is is what i'm doing disorderly 
because there's a statute or ordinance sure. for that. Sure. Is I'm, what I'm doing. I'm not saying you committed a crime. No, no, I know, I know, I get that. What I'm saying well, what is, I'm, what I'm getting at is, is you're trying to provide a service to the people to make sure that yes. government agencies and entities, and even private ones in some cases, that provide a service to the public, yeah. are operating as best that they can so that people get their money's worth. And that we're not having social norms become quasi laws. That's the problem. Social so what norms. you're what you're inferring, and I get it. Odd behavior is considered odd because somebody says, I don't view that as normal. Sure. Therefore, since it's not sure. normal and it's odd, sure. there's potentially something wrong with it. So sure. I'm going to call somebody to talk about right. it, right? right? Okay. So with that being said, when you look at it like that and you say, when they are concerned and they call law enforcement, let's say, sure. and law enforcement shows up, what really matters is has the people through their elected officials, their representatives, their senators, their governor, whatever, have they enacted a law that accounts for X? If not, it may be strange to someone, it may be normal to someone else, sure. but we haven't agreed as a society that that is X, let's say disorderly or whatever, or harassing or sure. whatever, right? So if that's the case, then what do we do? Well, we just say, okay, I guess I'll just have to deal with that. or erect a fence or so, so there is a statute actually called obstruction sure where if you're disrupting a public officer from doing their business that's a crime obstruction requires physical intervention it does not it does absolutely yeah it does okay. <laughs> it totally does obstruction can't be some subjective determination because that could change with so the whimsy of every let person. me give you the scenario right sure. i ha i am responding to a violent crime Okay. Right? Yeah. And a person is standing in the way of where I need to get to. Sure. Yeah. Right? That's blocking you. Or I am dealing with a violent subject. Sure. And somebody over here next to me is chipping away, dividing my attention to make the thing safe. Mm -hmm. Would you not say that's obstruction? It depends on case law. Now, the, the fact of the matter is, is like if someone's impeding you, physically blocking you from sure. getting from X to Y, right. sure. I mean, I could see that. But... There is no absolute standard to that other than what is set out in the statute, and it's very clear as well as case law that different levels, of course, have ruled on. Anyway, so, Sergeant? Yeah, I'm going to cool. for you. So, these people have some sort of concern here at the fire department about me filming and videoing from a public space. I had a disagreement with this officer about me filming from and videoing from a public space. What are you defining as a public space? Public property. There's no, there's nothing here that indicates I cannot be present on this property. Okay, there's no film inside, directly inside windows. There's nothing that says I cannot film outside this building. I'm telling you, you can't film inside the windows of the, of the public building. Okay, I, I'm saying the there's nothing that, that prevents me from doing this. The eyes can't be trespassed. That was ruled on in 1948. Okay. Okay. U.S. versus McDonald. What, what are you trying to accomplish? I'm trying to collect video and photo footage, of this fire department. But like the interior operations of it? I, that's all I'm doing is just collecting photo, photo and video. That's it. From a public space. Certainly I'm not going to go inside. I have no right to go inside except for maybe the lobby. You know, so. Okay. The lobby's closed now, isn't it? Well, yeah, and I can't get in. Exactly. I mean, what I'm saying is like if I was going to go inside, I would only go to the public accessible areas like a lobby. And I've collected my footage, but I just, okay. you know, disagree with this, this officer. So I wanted to have you come up here so we could have this explained. I can film and photo from a public space. The eyes cannot be trespassed, and my speech cannot be priorly restrained. So, gosh, that case law is about, what, 40 years old, gentlemen? I think what you guys were talking about, though, is you're talking about operational obstruction, right? If, you're, if your behavior is so concerning that it, it takes them away from the job that they're supposed to be doing, whatever that may be, then we're talking about operational obstruction. Yeah, well, I'm not accusing you of that. I'm not charging you with that right now. I'm just saying, <laughs> if you're peeking in the windows of somebody who's trying to sleep, right? Or if you're peeking in the windows of somebody that does not want to be seen in that capacity because you don't have a legal authority to actually look at that and recording them and taking them away from those duties, that's a problem, right? That's an operational obstruction. Yeah. The case law you're, refer you're referencing in Washington State... Mm -hmm. That's regarding residences, and I know, I, I well, hold on, I know, I know, killer. What you're saying is, here's this building that some people sleep in at some times, mm -hmm. okay? There are designated places for that. I have never photoed or... Do you know where those places are? Listen, all I'm saying is, I've never photoed or videoed anything I can't. 
That's all I'm saying. Okay. Unless you have evidence to corroborate, you know, reasonable articulable suspicion that in fact I have done that, and you have that reasonable articulable suspicion. I have a battalion chief saying he's concerned about the, the safety of the occupants of the building. Well, I'm concerned that Vladimir Putin's an asshole and doing shit he shouldn't be doing in Ukraine. Okay. <laughs> You want to go over the list of grievances we have as human beings? Not sure, it'll really. be pretty damn long. I just want a re resolution. Okay, well, what's your plan now? I'm done. I've collected all my okay, footage. Okay, sounds like we're done. Good here. Thank you. All right. Poor little baby man. Oh, actually, Sergeant. Yes, sir. I do need, uh, can I get a business card from you? Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a pleasant evening. You too, thank you. I'm just gonna wait till you guys leave. Why? Because I don't want anybody ever getting the notion that, uh, because I'm leaving, but you guys forced me off. That would be silly. Okay. I'm not leaving right away. I'm going to go talk to the battalion. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I'll just wait here. There's the sergeant. And there is Zachariah. Just going to wait till they leave. And then I'm out of here. All right, there goes Zachariah. He's leaving. I don't know, I just, I still am of the mind that, you know, these people just need to take logs, keep records, establish a pattern, don't waste resources. Three vehicles is just too much. And there's the sergeant. He's out of here. I literally cannot believe that one officer tried to go for voyeurism. The statutes for vo the statute for voyeurism in Washington State's really, really clear. You've got to be shooting for taking photos or video of people either of their intimate areas or in areas that would be intimate. So their whole their whole reading of that is just silliness. They're trying anything to pin something, and it's just uh, it's just silly. So, anyways, but it ended good. They left before I did. Um, you know, I made it clear. I have every right to be there. They had no signs or anything like that that says I can't. So, I uh, I think that first officer I was talking to made the wise decision to not climb the mountain and uh there you go